So sometimes you have a track like this here in Bitwig Studio. It sounds like this. So it's some drums, there are some pad sounds here, bass sound and some chords. And let's say you want to transpose this up one semitone, two semitones, right? The first straight forward idea would be to actually go into the clips, select all notes and move them up one semitones, two semitones or whatever. Uh, but then you have to do it for all clips manually, right? And if you have a lot of clips, it becomes tedious. So the next idea would be to actually go to the tracks, to the chain itself and use a node transpose in front of the device. So you can say, just say, uh, just pitch everything that comes in two semitones up. But then you have to do it also on each of these tracks, right? So you have to clone these node transposes here to in front of all the tracks. If you have 20 tracks, it becomes tedious. But now everything is like transposed two semitones up. So pretty perfect. So sometimes you want to experiment with different keys. So you want to pitch it up or transpose it up or down one semitone, two semitone, three, maybe try it out and experiment with it. But it becomes tedious the more tracks you have, right? So you have to go into each track here and pull everything up or down to this for each track and so on. So then we have global modulators, okay? So you put in a macro here and put this into bipolar mode and then maybe modulate here everything by, let's say, 12 semitones. That should be enough. Uh, but then we have the problem with the modulators here, with the modulation system that we have not this kind of unit mapping. So here we have now percentage and here we have the units of semitones. So 100% it's actually 12 semitones. So it becomes dependent on on how many semitones you want to move this kind of complicated to take the math so six semitones would be easy because it's exactly half of 12 so it's 50 percent so now we basically push this up here by six semitones so this is easy but then if you want to go up actually let's say one semitone then it's i don't know 8.33 percent or something like this so it's not that easy anymore, right? And there's no option in the modulation system to actually map um, these units or select the unit for macro, what kind of unit you want to uh, use. And I get that, it's, that this is complicated to actually develop because you not only can modulate one uh, target with a unit you can also modulate different targets with different units so it becomes harder right so maybe there should be an option where you can make a selection on the left side what kind of unit you want to use what's important to you and the rest is not so important for you or maybe some kind of um, expression math expression where you can calculate something and combine different values i don't know i have no idea but sometimes i want to use here instead of percentage i want to use actually uh, the unit of the target i'm modulating so i think this would be a nice thing to have in some future version so this is my first idea for the for future i want to have it's just a small thing um it's not something big right um so this is one idea, you use a global modulator here. Um, you can then do it here, let's say for every track. So we have to just remove this and choose this here and then move it here and then also move it here. But this is exactly what I want. I want to have just one modulator and then modulating a lot of things on different tracks and experiment with different keys and just transpose it around and, you know, try out some different ideas. So um, then I thought maybe instead of using global modulators, because we don't have here this unit mapping, maybe it's a better idea instead of using node transpose, we can actually use the node grid. So let's use the node grid for that, right? So why not create here an instrument track move this up and call this maybe global and in here we use just a note of c3 and if we use the note of c3 and bring it into the grid it's actually the value of zero i'll show you this in a minute so here i go to the pads in front of the 
Synth, I'm using here a node grid. And I'm using this in polyphonic mode. Let's let's say 12 voices. I don't think I need more. And in here, there's actually no module that you can use to pull in notes from a different track. There is the audio sidechain where you can bring in audio signals from different tracks, right? But there's nothing for notes, which is, I don't know why, why this is not in there yet. I have no idea. Um, in my opinion, there should be actually here on the note input some kind of pull down to select a different track and then use multiple of these, right? And bring in notes from different tracks. Or maybe the pitch in should be have some kind of drop down or something like this. So the only device that actually allows you to bring in notes from a different track is actually the pitch quantizer here. Uh, when you switch this here to use note input, and then we can say, let's use global. And usually you use this to actually select notes in the pitch quantizer to quantize notes to this. So you can bring in chords uh, from different tracks, select multiple keys in here, and everything that you pass basically into the pitch quantizer then gets corrected to these notes. Uh, which is interesting, but here we want to use it differently. Um, so I'm using a readout here, so you can see what's happening. Put this into a semitones mode here. So now we receive basically here C3 from the first track from here, right? And we have to play here. Right, so we get here a note and uh, uses inside of the pitch quantizer, and then we get also here at the end some kind of note out of this. And you can also see here with the integer uh, by how many um, we push this up by how many semitones. It's plus four. Now you can see now it switches from plus five to minus minus five. So we have plus six, and then we go one up, and then it goes to minus five, because this is here in distribution mode nearest by pitch. So it selects basically the next nearest uh, node, which is minus five instead of plus seven, right? Um, so what we do here is we switch this to nearest by octave. Now we have plus seven here. And we can go up to plus 11. And then plus 12 is actually just back again C3, which is zero. So we can only use this for transposing up one octave up and one octave down. But for me, that's still fine. I usually don't want to push it any further. So one octave is pretty fine. So we get here basically the value out of this. And all we have to do now is to use an add and add basically this note we get here and add it to the note you're receiving on the, on the track itself. And because C3 is actually zero, we actually don't transpose anything at all if we you choose here in this clip C3, right? So this is the base idea. So let's actually uh, try this out here and use this not only on the pads, but also on the bass and the chords. Okay, and because it's the same patch, we still receive everything here for the global track. So now we can precisely pitch or transpose the notes by a certain amount of semitones from a global track. Um, and this is uh, precise and the benefit of this is that you can also use the sequence stuff so if you do some let's say um, 90s uh, vaporwave drum and bass stuff um, you usually just plane what's what's the name planing when you just pitch up and down the same chord type um, so you can do this here pretty easily so you can say I want to go from here one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Go, you go right here. Then you say, um, 
make this longer 200 and then double the content and then you go here back to the original transposition thing so you can sequence actually the transpositions <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let's see how this sounds. Uh, something like this. So that's just an idea. Um, so in my opinion, the grid here actually needs some kind of uh, node input where you can choose with the drop down uh, where you want to grab the nodes from right so this is the second feature i want to have inside of the grid so it's actually nothing complicated at all um but sometimes i want to do exactly uh, this and you know you have to take some different routes you have you have to misuse some modules it's not a big problem but maybe it would be nice to have this in some kind of feature uh, future versions um that's it it's actually not a complicated patch it's just a pitch quantize you select here the global uh, instrument track and then you can tr transpose everything around you have to select your nearest by octave and that's basically it um, that's it for this video leave a like if you like the video uh, let me know what you think in the comments down below subscribe to the channel and i see you in the next video bye